Hey guys, how are ya? Sovereign here, welcome back. Another video, pumping them out. Now, I've got some more tips and help for you guys, just because you may not know this, and in fact, so many of the things I'm giving you guys tips on, I'm putting out almost immediately when I discover them myself, because it takes a long time to figure out some of these. The game has a ton of mechanics, but it's almost like they're trying to hide them from you. The game does not do a very good job of letting you know these things. The on-screen interfaces are easy to miss. They're, they only stay up there for a short time. It's just really difficult. So a couple things to help you guys out. Uh, as I had mentioned uh, before, you can you know put uh, some of your settlers on these these salvaging tables, and they will you know randomly and sporadically bring more items into your workbench. Now, of course, this can be done at multiple locations, multiple settlements, but the best part is, is supply lines. Now, oh, I actually have a level. Well, that's great. So what, what do we want to put it in? I'll worry about that later. But uh, let's see. Where is the local leader perk? There it is. Okay, um, so you want to at least have the first rank of local leader. In order to get that, though, you will have to have your charisma at a 6. I actually started the game with my charisma at a 2. I don't usually worry about talking my way out of situations, you know, I just, I do what I do, so I actually had to invest a lot of skill points into charisma to get it high enough for that. But once you have it high enough for the local leader, at least the first level of it, then you can establish trade routes between your settlements. What this does is it allows you to share anything that's in your workshop between the settlements that you've established trade routes between. I mean, so everything that I have in here, which is a lot of stuff. Of course, you know, if you guys have been trying to, you know, mess around with multiple settlements, then you'll know that it's really difficult to manage when you have all of the items that you can use to build in this settlement, and maybe you want to build on another one, and you would have to go all the way back out and resalvage a ton of stuff and put it in that settlement. So with the perk, the first level of that perk, you are able to establish supply lines, and what that does is it will share everything between all of the settlements. So let me show you how to do that. Enter your build mode, and all you need to do, and I've already established a supply line, so I'm not actually going to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so just approach a settler, and you'll see down there at the bottom of the screen, I am on PS4, so the button prompt is R1, and that's supply line. All you need to do is click that button, and when you do, a menu will pop up on the left of the screen that lists off all of the other settlements. All you need to do is select which settlement you want that person to make a supply line to. Now that person will stay within the settlement that they're currently residing, however, that supply line will be their job so you cannot assign them to anything else if you do it will disrupt the supply line so just make sure that you don't forget that and you can also check your supply lines on your map if you pull up your map in your pip boy screen all you need to do is hit l1 and it gets rid of everything else except for your settlements which i actually have a lot more than i realized i had and it will show the supply lines to each one um so i was going to be building on Abernathy Farm, which I don't know why there's only one person there. I don't know. The game keeps miscounting. Anyway, so I had a supply line established there, but now I'm really wanting to make an epic place to live here on Testicle Island. So I established a supply line there as well. So all of the stuff that I'm just going to bring back here and store within the workbench, I can use here as well without having to run around and uh, let it be a humongous pain in the ass. So that also means that any other settlements that you put these sav scal salvaging workbenches in, that will mean that any items that those other settlements are able to salvage will also be shareable between all settlements. So really, you can get quite a bit of stuff coming in at once. Stuff that you don't have to always go out and get yourself. So I thought I would share that with you guys because it's pretty important and it will make your lives so much easier. Establish supply lines, but again, you need to make sure that you have the appropriate perks. You need six charisma for it, and then get the local leader perk level one. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. I know it was really helpful for me. So please go ahead and give the video a like if it was. Share it around if you think other people should see it. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're here. Why not? It is free. It's safe, I promise. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.